Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel and Happy New Year! I don't know if you can see Luna but she said Happy New Year as well. Can you see them? Ooh. Um, I'm really sorry that I have taken a while to make a new video. I feel like I say this every time but I'm hoping this year will not be the year I keep saying that. Um, but New Year, New Me and also I have to stick with tradition and I had to show you guys what I got for Christmas 2017. If you've stuck around and you've been here for quite a while then you know that this is something I do every year. Every year I make a video of what I got for Christmas and I generally do a New Year's resolution video. Please don't jump at the camera, thank you. Um, this year I might not do a resolution video but we'll wait and see what happens. I've got a few ideas of what we're going to do this year and how I can make you... Oh God, <laughs> there's a cat! Oh, please don't push the camera. I spent ages setting it up. Oh wow, you're very delicate. Okay, fine. Anyway, um, where was I? So this year I might not do a resolution video. I've got a few ideas of how to make this year be a little bit more consistent on my channel, um, but we'll wait and see. And we're going to get to why we're here, and that is to see what I got for Christmas. Okay. I'm sorry if you get a picture of a tail um, in shot. That wasn't meant to be like that, but I can't change it now. Anyway, so this year for 2017 I went to my mum's house, as I do every year. So myself and my boyfriend Barney and my brother were all at my mum's for Christmas, as well as our little lady, lady Luna, we took her in her little carrier. And yeah, we had an amazing time, had great food and great company. And it was just really nice to chill out with my family. Um, also, I was really spoilt. I feel like every year we go, right, it's going to be smaller this year, we're not going to go so OTT. And every year the presents get like more and more and more. So. Um, yeah, uh, I guess I'll say it here now. I'm not bragging, I'm not showing off with this video at all. That's not why I make these. I love to look back and I love to document. So um, this is why I sort of make these videos. And also because I love to watch people's what I got for Christmas. I feel like it's only fair to put mine out there too. So let's go into these gifts, shall we? The first gift, I guess I'm gonna start with this heavy thing that's right here, or heavy things. My, as you might know if you've been here a few years actually, um, I'm really into cooking and I really love baking. Um, Barney and I bought our first home, this house right here, um, last year so things haven't been as, I haven't baked as much as I'd like to because we have sort of had to start our inventory of cooking and baking items from scratch, having to live by yourself if that makes sense, I don't know. Um, so we're missing a few bits and bobs but my mum this year actually bought us, or bought me but that's, um, matching cooking things. So I've got a um, amazing like ivory but it's got this really lovely sort of stripe and spot pattern. Um, mi big mixing bowl. I have this big measuring jug but also mixing bowl. I don't want to make a big noise but hold on two seconds. Ooh. And then matching uh, measuring cups. So these have all got sort of like half, a uh, quarter cup, a third of a cup, half a cup and then a cup. And they all match and they're so lovely. Um, so I cannot wait to put those to good use. Also to go with those, she got us um, this mason cash jug. I think it's meant to be a milk carafe or something, but um, it's just really great to store things in the fridge that are not going to spill. So thank you so much, Mum. That's much appreciated. Oh, and also I haven't said, but I've had a cold recently, so I'm sorry if I sound a bit off. I'm feeling okay, just a bit like... There was a sort of a theme, and I guess that theme runs with our new obsession in our life, which is this little girl. So, um, Luna is our rescue cat. We rescued her in April time, and ever since we got her, I've now become a crazy cat woman. <laughs> no word of a lie. Um, so, our presents this year are actually, or my presents this year are actually quite cat themed. So, um, Pusheen is my new favourite thing. Um, so, Barney got me this Pusheen. Um, pillow which we have on our sofas because our sofas are grey so this sits there and I think it's just quite funny and like a little novelty thing in our living room I was going to say front room but it's at the back so living room so thank you so much Barn to go with that might as well keep him in the frame um, Barney also got me a Pusheen money box because I am trying to save next year um, I guess it's hard like once you buy a house and then you um, don't have to save for a deposit anymore it's like oh okay what do I do with this money and actually um, we bought a car so that's what we do with the money but um, yeah this year 2018 I would like to save more so he bought me this little machine money box which I'm going to try and put a pound in every day <laughs> if I remember 
so that's really lovely. Thank you, Barb. And then also on the same theme, one of my best friends, Kim, actually got me this really cute mug, and it's a little cat mug, and I've already had my New Year's coffee in it, and I absolutely love it. And yeah, it just goes so well with my sort of novelty cat theme going on right now. So next present is one from my mum, and um, I actually asked for some Converse, well just Converse really this year for Christmas. Um, I've seen loads of people wear the boots, and I really love how they look, sort of like the high top ones. Um, but also my Converse that I currently have, or had before Christmas, um, have I've had since I was 14, 15 years old, so they're like 10 years old now, if not 11 years old, and they're starting to look or well, actually they have not started, they are very much looking a bit worse for wear. So my mum actually got me a pair of like exclusive um, Converse, which I really, really love. They have never seen them before, and she'd never seen them before. She just saw them on a whim in a shop in the UK called Office, and um, which is a shoe shop, believe it or not. And they are grey, really light grey suede, um, with rose gold sort of copper eyelets, and um, let me get that one and lace ends and then the back got this really lovely leather baby pink stripe and I absolutely love them. I haven't worn them yet because the weather in the UK is gross so like rainy, muddy, cold, meh. So I probably won't wear these until sort of spring summer time because um, I don't want to get them dirty but I really really love them and they're such a good um, I guess like smart alternative to my really beaten up white canvas ones which just look a bit messy if I want to wear them to work so yeah thank you so much mum. It's quite a neutral theme going with my presents I'm putting them here like wow the colour scheme is really nice. I've got quite a few bath bombs for Christmas so I actually got two for my secret Santa at work and then Barney got me three and um, I've already used two or three I think since Christmas day because I absolutely love lush bath bombs they're just a um you want them? Do you like the noise of them? <laughs> Sorry, Luna's on the window sill. They are a luxury that I don't usually get unless it's Christmas or my birthday, just because it's a bit more money just for a bath, but they are really lovely. And the two I have left are the Avo Bath Bomb, Avo Bath Bath Bomb, which is really citrusy, really nice, and the Butter Bear Bath Bomb, oh, which is really vanilla-y. That sounds really, sounds, doesn't sound, it smells really lovely. And actually, I'm quite surprised I can smell them, which means my cold is leaving me. Yay! I think we'll go to my brother's present because it's quite funny. So every year, my brother gets me something sort of novelty from the Disney store because I have a bit of an obsession with, um, well, Disney as a whole, but things that are really cute. And generally, what I think is cute is sort of <laughs> what people just think is a bit weird. So um, I think three years ago, he got me a um, Wally mug. You know, the little robot that's like, Wally! He's one of my favourite characters of all time, of anything. I just think he's absolutely adorable, and whenever I watch the film, I end up sobbing. Um, last year, he got me a mug which was BB-8, who, again, is, like, my favourite thing. Um, and every year for the last three years, my mum and my brother and Barney and I have gone to the cinema, and we've gone to watch a Star Wars film, the new ones, obviously. And I remember we went last year, and I was so angry because BB-8 wasn't in it, and I was like, what is this? Why are you taking me to the cinema and BB-8 isn't in there? But anyway, we went to see the new one. Um, but we only went to see the new film on uh, New Year's Eve Eve. And so obviously I received this gift on Christmas Day, which is this. Which is a Porg. A cuddly Porg. Oh, and if you haven't watched Star Wars, you don't know. And I didn't know. So I opened it and I, I knew what this was because I'd seen them on um, like uh, memes and stuff and I was like oh these are really cute but I've got no idea what they are <laughs> I know they're from Star Wars but I don't know what they do or what they are but um yeah he was like it will all make sense when we go and see the film don't worry but I didn't care because I think it's really adorable anyway so yeah this is my porg and then obviously we went to go see the film and oh my god <laughs> I sat in the cinema and there was my mum in the middle of my brother and I and Barney was next to me and um <laughs> and as soon as they came on I went oh, I love to my brother and yeah I think the whole cinema I heard but I think they're so cute so thank you very much Lala um who is my not actually my brother's name his name's Luke but I call him Lala go for a present from my mum now because you've probably heard it jangle around so last year you would have seen um that she got me a gift in a box like this and this is my gift from this year and this is a brand called Daniela Draper um ooh which comes like, amazingly, I should probably do an unboxing, maybe when I've made, not made it look such a mess, but it's a UK brand, um, I'll show you these, so that's how you spell it, 
and this is what the sort of the pictures are like and they are a UK um, jewellery brand and they specialise in silver and gold and sort of I think semi-precious to precious gemstones as well they make um, amazing sort of handmade jewellery but they also make bespoke so you can get um, it, things personalised and um, get it really get it really personal to you but anyway I'll do a proper video about it because I think it deserve, they deserve as a company a full video but last year I received this bracelet which is a luxury signature cuff and I'll put my video um, from last Christmas below then you can see what I when I got it and what I said about it because I can't actually remember. Um, then in March 2017 for my mum's birthday we actually went to Lincoln which is a town in the UK that has a Daniela Draper store and my mum and I both went there and we both treated ourselves um, for my mum's birthday with I got another bracelet which is this one which I'll talk to you about in another video along with two rings as well so it's now become like my favourite brand I think at the moment um, so for Christmas my mum got me this which is a um, bangle with a honeybee on it um, which is in silver I don't know if it's a maxi bee it's not a baby one I don't think so um, yeah they come in all different sizes I'll link them below if I can find the correct one um, but yeah this is a present from my mum and it just sits with this is like my Daniela Draper arm <laughs> um, on my wrist and I absolutely love it my, I think I've explained this before, a few years ago I um, received a um, Alex Munro bumblebee necklace from my mum and I'll explain it again just in case there's some new people watching but um, my family are, uh, my like, immediate family is my mum, my brother and I so it's just three of us and when I was younger I got quite anxious when three of us weren't in the house and um, I don't know, I'm better now obviously because I don't live at home but I still have like this anxiety so I used to call or I used to call my home like a wasp's nest or a bee's nest and then when the bees were out of the home I felt anxious but I only liked it when the bees were back in the nest so I like called my family bees or wasps <laughs> bees sounds nicer than wasps so we'll go with bees um and so yeah that's sort of like my symbol to my fa for my family in my head so that means a lot to me so thank you very much mummy means an awful lot that was a really long story but Daniela Draper wear bracelet. Ah, right. Next one. Next gift is going to be from Barney, and that is this, which looks like a chimney pot. It's not a chimney pot. This is a wine cooler. Well, actually, it's the wrong way around. Um, it's a wine cooler, and um, I was just about to say I really love wine, and I guess that's maybe not the best way to start a sentence. But I do really like wine, <laughs> and um, in my house, obviously, I don't know why I said in my house. In most houses the fridge is in the kitchen and you generally want to drink wine when you're sitting watching telly or having a meal and obviously keeping wine cold in the fridge you have to keep getting up and getting to the fridge every time you want a glass of wine um, or a refill so I actually asked please can I have a wine cooler and Barney got me this which is a terracotta wine cooler which is like my mum's actually she's got one similar to this and they just keep wine really really cool and they look really nice and rustic and cute on your table and this one actually is a special one because it's made um in Wattersfield which or it's Wattersfield where it's made in Suffolk and um I live in Essex as you guys should know um I'm from Essex and Suffolk is just the next county on and actually where we live we live about 15 minutes 20 minutes from the Suffolk border so it's quite nice to have something that's from fairly near us and I'll go for some personalized gifts so Barney's sister he has three sisters but one of his sisters um, Karenza actually and her family got me this really cute sort of makeup pouch it's like a navy um, velvet I guess it's velvet with a gold A on it and they got me a little bracelet as well as well as some sloth socks which I have already worn they're in the wash <laughs> um, but yeah this really cute makeup pouch and I'm going to be using it to sort of keep because I don't take an awful lot of makeup around with me day to day so yeah just some mascara, concealer, a bit of blush and that's it. So thank you so much, Karenza. Sorry, I left these in the kitchen. So Barney's mum got Barney and I um, little initial tumblers. These are from m and I think, and they've got our initials in gold on them, and I really, really love them. It was a real surprise. I was like, oh, God, these are amazing. Like, I had seen... Oh, I'm really out of breath, sorry. I'd seen similar ones in anthropology and thought, oh, these are really nice, but quite expensive. Um, so yeah, it was really lovely to have some similar... Um, and get them for Christmas because I didn't even ask for them and it was like oh someone's read my mind so thank you so much 
next gift I guess is on the same drinking vein is from my half brother and his family. They got us, I haven't actually opened this yet, Ooh, a Costa set. And I guess it shows that I'm growing up because 2017 was the year I discovered that I liked coffee, I think. Maybe 16 was the year, but 17 was the year I actually started to drink it properly, so yay! Um, in here is a massive set and it's got um, cafetiere coffee with two Costa mugs, um, a chocolate sprinkler and then obviously the little um, sort of stencils. And then this is a guide of how to make all different types of coffee, so that's really great. So thank you very much to Ron and June, Aaron and Sophie. And Ruby, of course, the woofer. My brother again, um, did amazingly and he got me a pair of Levi's. These are Levi Mile High Skinnies in black. I got actually a pair of these ooh, two years ago. But basically Mile High Skinnies from Levi's are the only skinny jeans I wear because I like I love a high rise jean. You can probably even see them. These aren't them but <laughs> they're another high rise jean. They only wear jeans that cover my belly button. But anyway. Um these are the only skinny jeans I wear. I wear them for work. I wear them and um, for play, like, you know, I love them. And black jeans always lose their colour a bit and they're not, they never are as black as when you first get them. So my brother got me another pair, which is so great because um, I actually have a pair that got a hole in the crotch, so good to replace them. Thank you very much, Luke. And like I said earlier, I had a pair of high top Converse, nearly hit myself in the face with those, on my um, list this year. And so Barney got me a pair of black ones, which I'm so pleased with. Um, I don't know if I did or what I got for my birthday video last year, probably not, but um, I got a pair, he got me a, Barney actually got me a pair of the uh, van, oh yeah, I'm left over there, old school, high schools, old schools, shows how uncool I am, um, black and white van shoes that everyone's got, he got me a pair of those and I've lived and died in them this year, so um, I asked for a pair of these and he got me a pair of black because I wear those all the time. And I'm touching the bottoms. I have already worn them. And I love them. So thank you very much, Barney. Four more to go. Oh, um, my one of my best friends, Lizzie, got me a pair. Got me a pair? Do you want to these a pair? I don't know. Um, she got me a um, light string. So it's a copper string of lights with um, clear pegs on them. And they're to show um, the little Instax film pictures so I have an Instax camera she also got me some Instax film with stars around the outside so the sort of the frame isn't just white it's really pretty and really decorative and I absolutely love it so I need to find the perfect place to put this I'm thinking maybe either the room that I will use as my fi filming room bit of information there um, or in our living room so it'll string across and show all our pictures of the years so yeah thank you so much Lizzie it means really a lot one of my other best friends is Jen, and she and her family got me this scarf, which I actually received yesterday because I've not been very well, and they've got a little baby, and I haven't seen them because I was like, I don't want to make you ill. Um, so she got me this grey pashmina, are they called pashminas? I'm not sure, but it's like a cashmere and wool scarf in the stuffy grey, and it's got my initials on it. Yes. So yeah, I absolutely love that. Thank you so much, Jen, Tom, and Eloise. I'm from Barn. This is the present I was like, I really want that for Christmas. This is a My Heritage or Ancestry or whatever. It's a DNA kit. And whenever I tell anyone what was on my Christmas list and I said, DNA kit, they're like, okay. Um, this is so you can find out where your family are from. So I obviously know who my mum and my dad are. That's not the sort of DNA I'm talking about. This is so you can find out where your mum and your dad and your grandparents and your great grandparents, basically where your family have derived from, whereabouts in the world they have um, lived and where they've emigrated from. Ooh, I'm pretty sure that mine is gonna end up being the UK and that's as far as we've gone, but it would be so interesting to see if there is anything hidden out there. So if you'd like a video on my journey of this, then please let me know and I'll do sort of a little mini heritage series, which I think would be really fun. So thank you so much to Barney for that. And then my biggest present, I'm just gonna check that we're still recording. We are going, okay. My biggest present is from my mum, as always. She goes above and beyond every year and every year I'm like, yeah, smaller? We go smaller this year? And she's like, yeah, smaller. Never gets smaller. <laughs> um, this year she surprised me completely. And actually my brother as well, he got one of these, but obviously not a girl's one, um, with this. 
Oh. This is an All Saints box, and All Saints, I believe, is a UK brand. I think it's a UK brand. Um, who are very well known for their leather jackets. And I'm sure you've seen people online get them for years and years and years. Actually, I think if you've been following me for a while, I didn't get it for Christmas, so I don't know. But I have had, I have already got an All Saints leather jacket. Um, just the lining now has a hole in it, um, the colour is sort of wearing off so it's not particularly black anymore, it's kind of really distressed black grey. Um, so I had sort of hinted that my next big purchase I think was going to be another leather jacket but my mum got there before me and she got me oh, this jacket. I don't actually know what the style name is um, but I will link it below once I have a look online. But this is my leather jacket. It's got quilted shoulders, black um, studs on the lapel or on the collar. Um, it's zipped, it has some zips here, and it also amazingly has inside pockets, which is just so cool. Um, oh, it smells amazing. But yeah, this is my jacket, and I absolutely love it. And yeah, I'm really pleased to have a new one. So thank you so much, Mum. So, oh, I'll just pop it on. This is it on. It's quite cropped. Don't mind my slouch trousers, but anyway. So I'm not sure where that cut out, but thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for um, being here with me. And if you really like this video, please subscribe or give me a thumbs up. I'd love to see you again soon. Um, lots of love.